Maybe not. <laughs> Hi, guys. It's Laura from Mad Mimi's Crochet and Farming. And I might have a catastrophe, but that's all right. Um, I'm getting ready to go to the swimming pool. And, um, and I'm afraid that Matilda is going to knock over my swimming stuff onto the tripod and then everything's just going to fall apart from there. But so far it hasn't happened yet. But anyway, today is make along Monday and, um, I only have two of my make alongs, um, with me that are, uh, done pretty much for the month and they are really dusty on top. I need to, I'm ready for spring so I can open up the doors, the windows, and so I can get cleaning done because it's very dusty in here. So, um, this is, um, uh, hip to be square mal, uh, hashtag H I P the number two B E S Q U A R E M A L hip to be square mal. And this is by Jackie from crochet HD. And, um, Technically, I was supposed to get, I think, 13 squares done a month um, for my particular project. Um, I've gotten seven. I still have time, um, but more than likely, um, I will just get these seven and then um, maybe make up the rest next month. Maybe, maybe not. So, uh, the color I'm using... For right now until I get 31 squares I think is what I need per color um, is yellow and once I get my 31 of these um, I will go to a next color so these are five inch squares all the ends are sewn in and these are going on my um, Cranny square blanket, yes, that I am making for myself, believe it or not. Um, uh, I don't have the colored. They're in a. Hope, please. Okay, I bet. So these are the squares that it's going with. So I have all of these squares done from the skeins, the old, old Red Heart skein that I had. And now once I get 31 of these in, I'll put them in here with these. And I have blue, pink, purple, orange girls, and then the yellow, and then I have green. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to find another green um, because that's what I'm going to attach them all with. Um, I'm not sure the pattern I'm going to use for the attaching yet. But um, that's how it's going so far. Well, hello, beautiful. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Come here, fat So You can tell everybody that you're going to the vet next week here. Just say hi. Say hi. Do you look at me, look at me like I'm crazy? Yes, she's going to her well well kitty checkup. Um, hopefully she's not over eight pounds. I'm kind of worried there, but we'll see. She underneath all that fur, she is very very petite, um, weighing in at seven pounds. So hopefully we can keep her in the seven eight pound range because that's just a perfect weight for her. Okay, so, Jackie, Crochet ADHD, or Crochet ADHD, here you go. I've got seven of them for you. I need 31 more. No, I don't know how many more, but I just know I need up to 31. Okay, so, I do have my, my colors picked out for my, um, Hashtag, uh, hashtag 
Shutterbug AU. Um, they're going to go on here. Uh, this is my Agatha shawl. Isn't it cool? Um, I might need to start making another one. Um, after this, we're halfway done. And I think this is going to end up being a blanket. A schlanket, maybe. So, it, oh, there she goes. It might just be the perfect size. Um, after this, this round. Two, four, six, eight, ten... 12. So what do you think? Should I make make it just one big, huge one or make two different ones? You let me know. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. The colors that I'm adding to it are, um, well... There we go, is this Red Heart Classic right here, the yellow. And um, and this, I love this yarn in purple. So, um, that I'm adding four rows of each. Um, and the one thing that I'm worried about is that I don't think I'm going to have enough if I keep adding four rows a piece on here so that's why i'm thinking i might need to make two different ones or make something different all together not sure what do you guys think um make a second agatha shawl or mm, make something altogether different and i am using a six and a half millimeter a clover k uh, it's right down here at the bottom. It's the green one right there. So, um, I have those, and I did get another row added to my, um, uh-oh, we're going to have a cat bite. Persephone just knocked, knocked her off of her, the, the cat tree, knocked Matilda off. She's telling Matilda, you don't get on the top. That's my spot. Okay, so, um, yes, my black is still connected. So, I did manage to get row four added. So, here it is so far. And I keep adding a row. I, you know, I've got plenty of time to get this done. Oops, that's the bottom. This is the top right here. So I'm adding the next row. I have two complete, two more complete rows. And that'll put me at six. So I was thinking of doing um, a seven by seven. And hopefully that's going to come out to about 40 by 40. So I just have to make a couple more squares, I think. And then I'll be done. I'll have to see how it comes out. So what do you guys think of this one? Kind of cool looking, eh? All righty, so that is all I have for um, Make Along Monday. So, um, let me put this back in the bag because I keep running out of room in my little boxes. So, um, that's all I have. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.